like to take this opportunity to ask every person listening in to give thanks in his or her own way. This week, America celebrates the 50th anniversary of the successful Apollo 11 mission. But on July 20th, 1969, astronauts Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin didn't just celebrate the historic achievement of man's first walk on the moon. They also celebrated Jesus Christ. That's right, right there in the lunar module, as America sat glued to their radios and TV screens on Earth, Aldrin took the moment between landing and the first moonwalk to give glory to God. Specifically, as a devout Christian and an elder at Webster Presbyterian Church, Aldrin had planned ahead to read a passage of scripture and to give thanks to God in a Presbyterian rite of communion. Speaking to Earth one last time before the radio silence that preceded Armstrong's first steps on the moon and his famous words, one small step for a man, one giant leap for mankind, Aldrin made a simple request. I would like to invite each person listening in, he said, wherever or whoever he may be, to contemplate for a moment the events of the past few hours and to give thanks in his or her own way. As for Aldrin, he gave thanks in the Christian way, to Jesus Christ, without whom, Aldrin believed, that historic day would not be possible. After all, according to our Lord's own words, which Aldrin read from a piece of paper marked John 15, 5, which he had brought with him, I am the vine, you are the branches. Whoever remains in me and I in him will bear much fruit, for you can do nothing without me. Aldrin wasn't the last astronaut to honor God in space. As reported at the National Catholic Register, 32 years later, there was another first, as a trio of Catholic astronauts received Holy Communion aboard the space shuttle Endeavour. As one of them reflected later, after receiving our Lord, we floated weightless on the flight deck, silently reflecting on this moment of peace and true communion with Christ. As we meditated quietly in the darkened cockpit, a dazzling white light burst through space and into the cabin. Pure radiance from the risen sun streamed through Endeavour's forward cockpit windows and bathed us in its warmth. What else could this be but a sign? Looking out the window, the three astronauts saw the deep blue of the Pacific Ocean, hundreds of thousands of miles below. It's the blue of the Virgin's veil, they agreed. On this 50th anniversary of man's first walk on the moon, Catholics can especially appreciate Buzz Aldrin's gesture in 1969, and not only because of the importance of our Lord's true presence in the Eucharist to our Catholic faith. Aldrin marked the whole human enterprise of space exploration at its foundation with a spirit of Christian reverence in the face of God's vast creation. And 50 years later, that spirit lives on. This has been an episode of CVTV. Subscribe to CVTV on YouTube, follow us on Facebook and Twitter, and sign up at catholicvote.org loop.